Hey, all you Fusion 360 fashionendos. Welcome to 2020. This will be my first video blog for the, the year. And what I'd like to show you today is just how to create 2D drawings out of this. Now, yes, you might know, but maybe you'd like a visual reminder. Okay, awesome. So yeah, I've opened up the Geneva Drive V2, which you've probably seen with one of your resellers. And we're going to go create a new 2D drawing out of this. So select design, down to drawings, and from design or from animation. So it takes the design that you've already got open, and with this you can either select the full assembly um, or separate components in the parts over here. Destination, new drawing, from scratch, ISO, I'm just going to keep everything standard over here. I'm not going to mess too much with it. I just want to show you how to create a drawing, and then take it out to a DWG for, um, for, for viewing out in AutoCAD maybe. So click on OK. To create a new template, you can create templates in AutoCAD and then import it into Fusion 360 as well, so not all is lost. If you do not have AutoCAD, find a friend. Okay, so over here you can see it's got my name, the name of the file, and if you've ever worked on Inventor, this should be pretty uh, pretty stock standard. This is also available in your AutoCAD 3D. So, you know, this is actually very, this actually I think is taken from AutoCAD, um, the way that the drawing views are created. So similar to Inventor, but not as slick, if, if I do say so. So now you can change the appearance after putting down the view. Top, front, right, home. Okay, so we, we're getting somewhere over here. Let's make it the front view over here. Right, change your scale. You know, show if you want tangent edges, shorten, full tangent edges, interference edges, uh, interference edges, or thread edges. So select OK, and it plonks down your first drawing over there. Now, if I want to edit the view, select it, right-click, edit view. Now, let's maybe put tangent edges on, and let's close that. Okay, so there you can see now it's actually drawn in those tangent edges over there. To create a projected view, select projected view, select the view you want to project, and bring it out, clicking to place it. Now, that's not the view that I want to see. It's the back side. I'm going to bring it down over here. Click, right-click, OK. So that's very much um, like your, your inventor. Um, the way that the view is presented with this little grip in the middle is very much AutoCAD. So um, if you had to go you know, from AutoCAD doing 3D uh, models, your 2D, this is exactly what you do, and you will feel like a, a fish in water. But if you come from inventor, you'll feel like a fish in water as well. Okay, so now that that's done, maybe just go edit the view over here. Let's make this shaded, because yeah, maybe someone doesn't know what it looks like, and Bob's your uncle. To create dimensions, the same as in AutoCAD, select first point, second point, and there we go. You get your distances between. Now, from this, what I really want to show you is just the, the output you have. So it's great having the 2D drawing in your, your Fusion 360, but you need to share this with other, with other people uh, or other colleagues. So with your PD, uh, well, with the outputs, um, only PDF was available until recently, um, and then they put output DWG as well. If you do have something like a, um, a bill of materials in a, in, a, in a table or bin table, if you have sheet metal, then you can output that CSV as well on the selected table. And you can do output as DXF. So, output DWG, select that, click on OK, and it allows you to go and select only AutoCAD 2013 drawings. Okay, so anything before that, 2012 and down, you will not be able to open up this AutoCAD file. Give it a title, my first drawing, and then save. Once I've exported the DWG, let's go now open up AutoCAD and see what it looks like. So in AutoCAD, you'll see there that I've got my, my template, but it's created these viewports, inverted commas, with me able to go and edit my dimensions over there, uh, but not the, the actual views that we've got over here. So there we go, just a quick little demonstration on how to take an assembly or parts of an assembly, as we saw in the beginning. Uh, take it into your drawing file, create your drawing views, which is similar to both AutoCAD and Inventor as well. Do a dimension and then export it. As you saw, we can either do PDF, DWG, DXF, or 
if you have tables like your bent table to an Excel spreadsheet, I've sent it out to DWG, and when I open it up, you'll see the results over here. Thank you very much for watching.